Hey folks, it's Abby from Abby of Pelinor, and today I'm going to be doing a review of The Gilded Ones by Nomina Fauna. This is a book that I had for about a year before I actually picked it up and read it, and I saw that The Merciless Ones, the second book in this series, was coming out, so it was finally time for me to actually pick this up and get to it, and I am so, so mad that I left it for as long as I did. This book is set in a world where when girls hit 16 they have their blood tested. If their blood runs red, then in the eyes of their religion they are pure. If it runs gold, they are impure, and previously it was that these girls would then be killed in whatever way possible so that they would be removed and wouldn't be a danger to the village, to the community. This changes for our main character. She is marked as gold, her blood flows and they see and they try to kill her, but it turns out that a relation of the Emperor is actually rounding up all of these girls to form a formidable army to take down the Deshriks that are raiding their villages, raiding their towns and stealing and killing young girls. There are some fairly dramatic events in here. We do start out with this young girl being abused, uh, is the lightest possible method I, of wording I can use for it, um, by her family and by her village. But it does then move on, she goes down to the city's capital, and we follow her in her training from there. The character development throughout this book is absolutely fantastic. To see where she starts with in her thoughts and feelings about her religion and about the people in charge of her community and her village, to where she ends up at the end of the book is a dramatic contrast, and I love the way that these changes in mindset are shown by Namina Fauna and how they alter due to specific events that happen in the book, and also just over her own thoughts and feelings um, of her thinking about what's happened and how it doesn't line up with what she actually feels. I adored how this was handled the whole way through the book. The world building is also done really really well. The religion is built up throughout time so you are kind of dunked in it at first where you're just shown all this religion but then the depths and the intricacies of it are built over time and I was still getting revelations about this world building right until the end of the book. It was constant action. It was absolutely fantastic. I love the found family in here. These girls band together really tightly and it's gorgeous to see. I adored reading it. Whilst we do follow a main character, Decca, in here, there are a lot of other people that we follow and I adored seeing the depth of the background that we get into these characters' lives. So a lot of the stuff that has happened to them of course happens before Decca meets them in this book and I really enjoyed how this was introduced and interweaved throughout the storyline by Fauna and how she manages to make it seem completely natural to interweave this past plotline of these individuals who aren't technically essential to the story and yet it adds so much more depth and meaning to the story as a whole. It makes you feel a lot closer to these individuals now that you know more about the struggles that they've been through and their past and kind of where they've come from to reach this point. It means you care a lot more about the different actions that they take and it makes their actions seem more reasonable and seem like they make more sense, which just, for me, makes me enjoy the story even more. This is an absolutely fantastic YA fantasy. It is a little bit of a darker one. There are content warnings in this book at the front of it provided by the author and I've also linked the content warnings that I provide for the book down in the description below. I always have that for all of the books that I review so please do check them for this one because there are some quite intense sections. I will say that if those things don't specifically matter to yourself, if it's just that you don't know if you'll feel comfortable reading them on a general level, they're not overly bad on the general level but if it is something that does matter to you at all, then I would recommend being aware of that going in. For those of us who don't tend to need to utilise these content warnings, even though it is quite graphic, you should be okay. This book is fantastic. I'm so, so excited to get the Merciless ones. I really need to buy it from Waypoint Books. It'll be linked down below. Uh, I really, really need to get it, but I can't justify it because I've got so many books on my TBR. Let me know if you've read this one and what you thought of it. I'd love to hear your opinions down below. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Bye.